Maryland falls to Rutgers, 70 to 59. There goes the one game winning streak from Northwestern. This is the Big Dog post game show. I really thought the Terps had found something in Evanston the other night, winning in two overtimes when it looked like there were moments they could have given up. Uh, boy, uh, it carried over into the first half. Maryland started quickly. Maryland builds an 11 point lead and then the second half is a disaster. Ron Harper Jr. looks like the son of an NBA star. He has a career high to 30 points. He hit several threes down the stretch. Maryland has no answer. The Rutgers defense gets much stiffer. Maryland could not find offensive leadership until it was too late. Usually these games have ended up being a grind to the end. This one, when it got under two minutes, Rutgers pulled away. That's a problem. This is not a good season for Maryland, but it is great to be back on the court at Xfinity Center in this COVID era. We'll be back after this message from the big dog himself. Hi, I'm Maryland wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. Find out why clients, judges, and other lawyers call us the big dogs from the small firm, and why we've been named the best personal injury trial law firm in the entire country, as well as why the Daily Record, Maryland's legal newspaper, has named the Jacklets Law Group the very best, best personal injury trial firm and best civil litigation firm in the entire state. Every single lawyer at the Jacklets Law Group was honored by best lawyers in America. In the Jacklets Law Group was the best decision anyone in my family has ever made other than my decision to play football at the University of Maryland. At 855-BIG-DOG-1. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. Network solutions, managed IT, and technical support. Viner Forgates makes your company work. Solutions to protect your business from WatchGuard, including firewalls and endpoint protection. Protect your company and make your company work with solutions from Viner Forgates. So I'm going to talk a bit more about the good side of this, which is the first half Maryland's defense forces turnovers. Maryland had seven steals by seven different players and looked like they had actually found some rhythm. Scored 10 points in a row at one point, but they come out in the second half and the lead just deteriorates. And then uh, probably even a little worse than that, nobody steps up. They, they get closed out by the Rutgers defense. Maryland's three-point defense, some of those Rutgers shots were, were prayers and they go in anyhow. But still, the perimeter defense, not where you want it to be when you're playing in this league. Uh, not a lot of positives. Uh, the the one plus minus positive is Hakeem Hart through all this, even though Maryland loses uh, substantially here. Hakeem Hart has a plus five on the game. Boy, uh, it, it's a tough one. The season will roll on. There's no stopping this. Uh, you've got Illinois, a big game coming up. Next big home game is Friday night. Uh, see if the Terrapins can put anything together. But I think there's talent here. They just can still don't really play as a team. And we'll follow up more on this with Bruce Posner in the next segment coming up. We'll be back live from Xfinity Center in a moment. Back for segment three. So live here at Xfinity Center. Uh, Bruce joining in from the studio. Did it look as bad from there in the second half as it did from here? It looked worse. i tell you what it looked like. It looked like a man amongst children. Okay? Give credit where credit's due. If Ryan Harper isn't an NBA player, I don't know who is. He was, as, as Dickie V would say, scintillating. But look, Maryland scored 21 points in the second half. You're, just not, no, you're not going to beat anybody with that. And, uh, I don't know. Go ahead. Uh, look, Maryland went 13 for 15 from the line in the first half. The defense was active. They had seven steals. When they scored, they had short possession. 
in the second half, they only get zero free throws. The defense clearly not as aggressive. Could not close on those three-point shooters. So that's defensively they weren't so hot. But first, offensively, Rutgers played good defense. But Maryland could not find offensive leadership in that second half. Despite yeah, uh, all, of the top, all of the older players on the team. You knew they were going to lose. I mean, you know, a yellow only gets three points in the second half. Uh, we're chucking up threes from everywhere. Dante hit a few. Uh, uh, Fats did not have his shooting eye today. And half his shots were blocked. I mean, they really prepared for him well. But, Wayne, it was a pretty bad performance. I don't know how else to put it. Watching on TV. Uh, crowd seemed a little dead there. Am I wrong? The second half, they just couldn't find what you want to call the spark. The leadership couldn't get open. Well, that, that, that's, like I said, that's one side of it. The other side is the defensive closeouts on the three just weren't there. Rutgers ended up made a couple of players, but for the most part, those three point shots were there for the taking, and they made them. Ryan Harper Jr. was just stupendous. He was fantastic. And I think that uh, the coach Pickle fired up the team a little bit when he made a fake argument on a foul by McKinney that was clearly a foul. And uh, I think we got to get into that challenges on the uh, flagrant lately because there were some challenges that didn't even make sense. They were so nothing. But, uh, Wayne, it's very disappointing. I, I, you know, we're one in five. I guess you shouldn't be that upset. But the season is quickly going down the tubes, isn't it? Uh, I think the season might have just gone down the tubes. Rutgers comes in nine and six. First nine and seven. Thought Maryland was going to win today and, and run on a mini streak here. I think it's at Michigan and then Illinois here. Well, the one-game win streak's over, Bruce. i got to put the confetti and champagne away and uh, get ready to watch them on TV on Tuesday night. Uh, that's the game you considered going to. I'm not sure you're still heading out that way. No, I'm not going. I, I went to go on if there wasn't COVID. I mean, you know, when you're one in five, there isn't much purpose in hitting the road, per se. Uh, From College Park, where the Turks can't get it done today, this is Wayne Viner. That's Bruce Bowser. This has been the Big Dog Post Game Show. Good afternoon.